Hello, and welcome to ProTech. Today, we're going to check out a video submitted by Blake Titus on how to install new spark plugs in a Subaru Boxer engine. It's not as easy as you might think, but he covers the steps on how to get it done. Check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today, what we're going to be doing is changing the spark plugs in my uh, 2014 Subaru WRX. So here's the actual spark plug. So this is the NGK uh, IR, the Iridium spark plug. So that's what they look like. We'll go to the car and uh, get down to getting to the old spark plugs. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the battery from the driver's side of the car. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these two bolts off and then we will take the battery terminals out and get this out of the car. So this is a uh, 10 millimeter, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on with a uh, deep socket and go ahead and remove the bolts. Now that fell down because this kind of just hooks underneath, so that'll hook underneath your battery, uh, kind of the battery box. So go ahead and put that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter right here. I'm doing this and removing that, and then you can go ahead and remove this piece right here. Okay, I'm just kind of loosening this up by hand because this thing's kind of a pain in the ass. If you uh, look down in there, you should be able to rotate and twist this piece off right here. So if you look right there, it kind of goes down. Um, I'm just gonna leave this on. I'm not really sure how this comes off. Go ahead and remove the red cover off the top of the battery. Take your 10 mil and uh, loosen up the positive terminal, making sure not to short it out on anything, especially if you have not taken the, uh, the negative side of the battery off first. Now that we have that removed, we can go ahead and remove the battery. Just go ahead and pull it up and get right out of here. Look at all that nasty stuff. Gotta get that out of the engine compartment. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm going ahead and taking this air pump off. Now you may or may not have this on your car depending on what year you have. Mine's a 2014. You got this little like cover piece right here. This goes on here on the front. In this area right here, there is a uh, plastic screw. So you can go ahead and just take this screw and just uh, twist it out. That's just gonna back right out of there. So after that, this just pries right off the front. You pull that off, these two little tabs right there are connected to this spot right here. So just pry it off and boom, pop it off. You have three 10 millimeter bolts. They are here going in this spot, probably barely see it right in there. There's that one right down there at the bottom of it. There's another one. So it's kind of immediately like in this area. So if you can see, take it out right there went ahead and disconnected the wiring to the pump. Um, there's a little clip that retains right here. So you can just take that clip, pull it out of that little area. On the back side of it, it's just like most clips on these cars, um, there is a spot to press. So just depress this area right here and it should just come right apart. The grip on this, I'm gonna use some lineman pliers, pull that and then this whole pump assembly should just kind of come right off. Now I'm doing this to access the back driver's side spark plug. Taking my lineman's, that's where I'm gonna squeeze this little clamp right here. You guys get the idea? It's coming right out of there. Okay, now I can go ahead and kind of just remove this pump from this area. And you can see that was the, uh, the factory harness right there. That's the clip, that's the pump itself. A little tube that goes to it and uh, you got that part too so you could remove it right there if you wanted to as well and leave that other part on all right so right now I'm just uh, removing that bolt right out of there take that now now you can see this thing's kind of it's kind of floppy yeah guys so that works fine um, you can kind of just take this piece kind of just move it up out of the way right there is where we're trying to get to now before that was completely covered so if you drop this down, boom, you can't see that at all. So, you know, moving that out of the way, I think that is going to give us a lot better access and we should be able to get to that plug a lot simpler. All right, guys, so I have a 12 millimeter socket. Um, I also have this, this is on a quarter inch drive, so it's very small. The um, reason I'm doing that is it's a very limited space down there. You can go ahead and take that socket and put it onto the 12 millimeter bolt and then break that loose so that broke loose pretty easily 
Okay, and then from there, I'm just gonna back it out by hand. All right, guys, so I went ahead and uh, hand undid that coil pack right there. Now, I just pulled it out just a little bit. Um, I have not undone connector yet, because I couldn't really get to it. Um, I just rotated it like 180. You may have to do this to get it up and out of the frame rail. Like that, and then boom comes right out of there okay now I mean technically I don't even really need to uh, remove this because I can just set it out of the way um, and then we can try to I mean I'll remove it why not why not guys why not screwdriver pry up in this little spot right huh just tug and boom pops right out there's your coil pack now I'm just gonna do one spark plug or one spark plug at a time. I don't find any reason necessary to uh, to go to the next. Uh, this is what the coil pack looks like, though. Okay, guys. So maybe you can kind of see here what I got going on. So I got a socket wrench. I got a very long extension. This is probably uh, 12 to 14 inches. I'm going down to quarter inch drive, and then that readapts to a 3/8 inch with a knuckle. Now I did that. Just so I could get in there really tight, get a little bit more angle. You could probably do it a, uh, probably do it three eighths all the way. I was gonna try to see like, because I mean you could actually get in there really tight like this if you wanted to with the small wrench. But I thought why not just uh, get out a little farther, you know, have a little bit more room. So I broke that loose, busted my hand right there. That felt good, and uh, so now the spark plugs are loose. So I can go ahead and just back those out. Let's uh, spin that spark plug right out of there. Almost loose. Kind of show you what I got going on here. So it's just like that. Get an idea of how that was in there. Just like that. All right, so now, go ahead and take a look at our plug for the first time. Okay guys, so if you can tell, hopefully you can, that that is pretty disgusting. Um, that is like running super rich. You want it to be like almost tan. That's like really dark brown. So I'm at 44,000 miles. These are the original plugs. Um, Subaru recommends you to replace the plugs at 60K, which sounded crazy to me. Why not just go ahead and change these out? Can't hurt anything. And it looks like that is the proper choice. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the new plug in there. All right guys, so I went ahead and checked the gap on this plug. It's at a 030. So that is the factory spec, and these are pre-gapped, but definitely just make sure just to check it. Um, you want to be careful though, because you can definitely break off that iridium tip super easily if you're using a like standard type of, uh, of gap checker. So feeler gauges are a good idea to just put in there. It's kind of it's not super necessary, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads here, just just a slight amount, just because I always worry about that with an aluminum block and uh, with steel, you could have an issue to where you know this could uh, this could get stuck in the aluminum and seize up and you don't want that um, also I like to put a little uh, dielectric grease onto the actual porcelain itself too just so it doesn't stick to the boot um, it's a good idea you know just in case those things get hot I've always done it on other spark plugs uh, not sure if it's super like a necessary thing to do on Subarus but I'm gonna do it because it can't hurt all right, guys. So I got a little bit of anti-seize on it, um, just just a slight amount. Um, this kind of does have a coating on it as well that uh, should help it from sticking or anything like that. But I just kind of put a slight amount in the threads. I'm gonna go ahead and just feed this down into the hole. This is kind of what I'm using. That's the setup when I get in there, and then I'm just you know spinning it slightly like that. Um, and this is working pretty well. So I really like this setup for the back driver's rear. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, coil pack back in. I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, plug in the coil pack first. And like we did last time, we actually like spun this thing 180. So plug this in. Now we put it in kind of like this, and then we just spun it 180 when we took it out. So um, hopefully you guys can kind of see that. We're just going to shove it down onto the spark plug boot, or the spark plug boot onto the spark plug. A hard thing to tell gotten it on to the spark plug itself so uh, you just put it in there and then once you get it in you're gonna spin it 180 again so that the bolt is uh, facing to this side of the engine compartment 
All right, guys, so now we're going to do the front driver's side spark plug. So first, all you have to do is take your 12 millimeter wrench and go ahead and loosen up that coil plaque plug. Um, after you do that, you should be able just to pull that coil pack out. So again, we can just take that out. We're just going to set it right here. And so for this one, I just have a socket wrench, 3 8 inch drive, about a, I don't know, probably about an 8 inch extension. And then up at the front, we have a swivel onto the spark plug uh, socket. So that looks like it's going to work good. So I'm going to break this loose right now. All right, so I went ahead and backed that out. And now we're going to just pull the plug. And we'll show you guys what this one looks like. Same sort of look. Um, pretty brown. All right, guys, so this is the setup for the passenger front. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to put it back in. And this one was very straightforward and easy. All right, spark plug back in. So now we can go ahead and uh, reinsert this uh, coil pack. All right, once we have that tightened down, we'll go to the next side. All right, so now that we got that uh, spark plug boot back on there, uh, we can go ahead and put this screw or this bolt back in here. So we'll go ahead and just put that back in. That was the small one that you removed. It looked like, well, or I dropped it, it looked like that. Luckily it didn't go too far. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, so should remember, you took it out, so. Okay, now we can go ahead and take this ugly ass pump and uh, put it back in. So this kind of went around the bottom like that and this part of the pump goes into this little tube right here. So that's the first part we're gonna do. So we'll just kind of arrange this in here like it was before. Put that into its spot. Um, take your pliers again and squeeze down firmly on the clip. Once you get a good grasp on that, you should just be able to wiggle the tip right in that hole. There you go. All right, so this is the first one right here. There was one down below, which you can kind of see right here. There's one right here. The last bowl to put back is uh, right there, so we can go ahead and put that in. Okay, now for the cover piece, uh, we can go ahead and put this back on. Uh, it's just those little clips go right on to that portion right there and so you just clip it on real quick now it kind of looks aesthetically pleasing and then you can go ahead and put this plastic little screw back in there and I mean that thing was pretty much just in there hand tight so also you can't forget to uh, hook this back up so kind of get this out of the way for a second um, you want to just go ahead and hook this up it was underneath like this see that the pump is all reassembled that parts all hooked up so now let's put the battery back all right guys so real quick we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take our air filter assembly off you just kind of snap these out all right so go ahead and remove those allen heads real quick once you do that you can go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom 10 millimeter bolt in the front and pull the whole cold air intake off all right next you can go ahead and remove the MAF sensor just push down on the clip on the top boom just like that now we can go ahead and remove those bolts and we'll get this out of here. All right, we can go ahead and remove the air intake assembly. Um, I didn't take all the hoses off, but I'm just gonna pull it off right from the turbo inlet. Pull that off, that should all come out. And yeah, the heat shield out as well, and then we can access the spark plugs. This bolt right here, um, once you take that off, you can gain access to the coil pack and once you get to the coil pack then you can undo the spark plugs this one should be pretty straightforward the one behind it may be a little bit more difficult but we'll get to that next all right guys on this side i went ahead and uh, removed the coil pack from right here um, i'm actually going to do both coil packs at the same time right now so i'm going to remove this one as well um, i just used a wrench a 12 millimeter wrench to get back in there now i'm turning this again 180 degrees and then I'm spinning it up. So you can see, originally it went in there like this. That's how it's bolted in. If you spin it 180 and then flip it up, they come out super easy. So I'm just gonna set those aside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the spark plug wrench and get both these spark plugs out and then replace these. Should be pretty straightforward. I'll show you the tool that I use. So again, this is the same setup that I used before. Um, swivel at the end with a, uh, about an 8 inch extension. Um, this is the passenger front that I'm doing right now and I'm just unscrewing the spark plug. Um, it should come out of here in just a second. Show you what this side looks like. Alright, just pulled this one out. Looks just like all the rest. It looks brown, um, which is good. And 
you know, looks to be intact. So we'll go ahead and throw a new one in there. Okay guys, same setup on the uh, last one. Use that. Use this uh, same setup with the uh, spark plug socket. This little swivel, same extension, and just put it on there. Spark plug came out. That's what it looks like right there. And we'll go ahead and put that one back in. The passenger side is definitely much, much easier. Hardest one to do is the driver side rear. Okay guys, so the spark plugs are all in. Uh, now we can just go ahead and reinstall the air intake box and get everything buttoned back up. But uh, that's pretty much the whole job, so cool.